What up? It's your boy, the Incredible Man. Yes, I'm back at it again, and this is Fire Force episode 10 discussion slash review. And I'm just dive right into it because if I don't, there's so much, and I'm gonna ramble all over the place, man. So, okay, this episode started off where we saw the whole company just sitting down having lunch, and they were getting ready to go to a meeting with all of the other captains of each individual squad and that was nice that was that was nice but also we saw hibana kind of still fawning over shinra and that was nice to see that because we know that she kind of feels some type of way about him now because he saved her and kind of set her free from her anger and rage so that was nice to see that and then like the excuse she gave obi when she why she was there and why why it happened and stuff and shinra was like well the lunch is good so i mean i'm not complaining and then we have uh, Obi telling Shinra, don't fall for it. She's tricking you, okay? And then he's like, I'll take you to all the ramen you want if you just... Li-. And then Arthur, Arthur was like, I'm there. I'm there. And Shinra was like, why are you coming? Nobody wants you there. So I, lo- I love the fun that they can have with each other. And then Maki... Not Maki. Um, Tamaki done her her simple luck, lusty thing again. And her whole skirt just popped off and... It was funny the first couple of times. It's not funny anymore. It's so annoying now that the fact of every time you turn around, that's her gimmick. That, that she's always nude or something slipping off of her and somebody's falling on her, touching her in a lustful way. It's not funny anymore. It, the first couple of times it was funny, but now it's plain annoying more than anything. Now, if you want to do a bit that's super funny and continuously funny, that is Kanasuba, where... Uh, Kazuma is all the way. Hi, hi, I'm Kazuma Des. Now that's a funny bit, man. I love Kazuma, and that's how you do a bit. Tamaki is not funny at all. The first couple times, yeah, but now it's just plain annoying. But after that, we make our way to the actual meeting, and we we're on the ride and everything. And Obi is telling Shinra that the reason that him and Tamaki are are going is because. It's about the situation that dealt with Reka, and they want, like, actual facts of the event as it happened and as it took place. So that's why they're there, because they know exactly what happened, and they were there during the incident. So, um, that happens. Oh, and then, um, Shinra's, uh, asking Captain Obi, has the captains ever met together, all of them, at once? And he was like, no, this is the first time that all of them are there at once, and that was very very nice to see that happen but then we also find out that on their ride going to and to the place um we come in contact with the the little nuclear core type plant place where the whole city and the whole town part of tokyo is powered from and it's like it's not even that big it's like maybe like the size of a regular building and and that powers the whole place which is weird in troublesome at the same time because where did they get that power from i mean like they kind of explained it you know like it's kind of the same power that kind of ruined the world it's the same power that's kind of helping the world but at the same time now you still kind of want to know where it comes from but so we get there and um we get introduced to all of the captains i want to try to if the video does it i kind of want to go through and name them so we can kind of see it i knew it was going to act stupid Okay, first we have Special Fire Force Company 1 Captain Leonard Burns, which, dude, is absolutely beat. That's that's a cool character design for you right there, man. Um, so next, then we have Special Fire Force Company 2 Captain Gustav Honda. Then we have do, 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 the guy that was talking to Princess Ibana outside, which he seems like he's another type that likes to experiment and work on stuff because he's a doctor and his special fire force company three captain dr giovanni these character designs for these characters are absolutely wonderful then we have a dude that looks like he may not be strong but i guarantee you he's fantastic if you saw him in action which is special fire force company four captain shoichiro hage or hog however you want to play it I, I, I don't i don't know i feel like i butchered it um, then we have, of course, Special Fire Force Company 5 Captain Princess Ibana. We've already been introduced. And this is another chick that she looks kind of nice. She's like, okay, I see you. Looks kind of kind of boyish, but like she's cute at the same time. It's Special Fire Force Company 6 Captain Kayoko Huang. So that's, that's, that's Chinese, right? I think. That's probably Chinese. 
So then we get to Company 7, which they said is never there. They never, Company 7 never shows up. And Company 7, hint, hint, is the strongest uh, captain of the companies. I kind of want to see him in action a little bit. Special Fire Force Company 7, Captain Binimaru Shinmon, or Shinmon, however you want to play it. I say it, I mean, I honestly don't know. And then we have Captain OB, our boy, man. And that's all of the captains. So it was a nice introduction this episode and a lot more informative. We didn't really get any kind of action sequences or anything like that. But I'm totally fine with that because the information we got in this episode is information we needed and wanted at the same time. So we got introduced to all of the captains. And then we find out that the Pope Priest type guy wants um, to know about the incident and telling all of them that we have to team up to take down these uh, white cloaked uh, evangelist people because they're threatening the way of society and they're killing all of these innocent people and stuff and everything. So then all of a sudden um, they start talking about the Adola birth stuff which we discovered last episode is what Shinra has and we find out what that is and that is a, a pure unadulterated flame that, that isn't corrupted by anything. It's just a pure flame and that's the same stuff that's powering the city and that was a nice thing. I mean, because we we all wondered, well, Mongeri is probably new, but anime only watchers, we all wondered what that was when they mentioned it last week because it, they threw it out and they kind of just dismissed it a little bit. They kind of let it marinate on you, but then they kind of dismissed it. But this episode was nice because it gave us exactly what it was and we kind of know what it does a little bit more as well, especially in its, when it's not in a person. So, and now I'm wondering, is that also something that is only in one particular person at a time or is it in, in multiple people, but they just have to find it? So that's what I, that's another thing I'd like to know. But then in this whole little meeting, we find out that you know Shinra has the Adola burst, and the third company captain wants to protect Shinra and just lock him up, probably to experiment on him, which is what Princess Hibana told us. And um, no, Shinra wasn't feeling that, but Obi also said he wasn't feeling it. So they decided to that Company Eight is going to keep an eye on Shinra, and Shinra is pretty much going to try to protect itself. But um. Then Company 7 captain just decided to leave. He wasn't feeling the meeting at all. He decided to leave. <laughs> so then after that, we get back to um, the meeting where the, the Pope guy was pretty much just finalizing and discussing everything. And he was just telling them that he want them to work together. And then in that whole little time while they're having their meeting and everything, we come in contact and we see Joker outside listening in. And as I said in a couple videos prior, that maybe he's working with somebody on the fire force because there's no way he should know all this stuff and know when everything happens and everything. But let's point out that one, mo that one point in this episode that I wanted to point out. Dude has some AirPods. I don't know if anybody else seen it. He has some AirPods in there listening to the whole conversation. So I see you, fire force. I see you. Um... So, yeah, but then after that, we have Joker. Oh, I mean, we have Obi and everyone else appearing back at um, Company 8's base. And we have Obi, um, uh, Shinra um, staying at um, the the capital and kind of just wanting to tour the whole little lab, the nuclear plant type place. And while he does that, he comes in contact with Joker. And now, the one thing I want to say is that. When you're seeing Joker, is it just me or anybody else? When you're watching Joker on screen and when they show him and certain things that he does, like when they zoom in and stuff, I mean, I know the whole thing gives off kind of like a Soul Eater vibe, but Joker is the only character that gives off that like that nostalgic, exact feeling of a Soul Eater character, man. I mean, I know the whole thing gives off that kind of vibe, especially with the comedy and everything, but Joker gives off that that, that vibe more than anyone else in the entire series to me. But, um, so then we have Joker telling Shinra a lot of stuff. And then he also tells him that um his brother's alive so shows alive now with this comes the theories man because i theorized that maybe possibly even though he was a baby show could have killed their parents well killed their mother or someone set set it all in motion and took show because they figured he had the adola burst as well that's see, it's a whole bunch of stuff that get kind of mixed up and mashed up in there man but um yeah that's all that happened with that interaction and Shinra's, it was, it was a nice interaction between the two, but that's, 
the main thing we got out of got out of it. So then we get back to the base, and um, they're all going through papers trying to see if they can find any trail of these white clad people, and everyone. Everyone is worried about Shinra because since he came back, he's he's been a little off. His mind is scattered. He's not really thinking as as well. But um, then the lieutenant decides to fix food, and um, he asks Shinra for help. And he tells Shinra that he's happy that he's at the Eighth Company, and if there's ever any problem, he can talk to him. But if he can't talk to him, he's more than welcome to talk to Captain Obi. And that is lovely, man. I love the companionship of Company Eight and all of them just meshing together so well. And then when they sit down to eat dinner, everyone can tell that he's struggling, but he's continued to eat dinner, and um, he starts to feel like his appetite and everyone was like, well, I'm so glad that you're feeling better because I was so worried that you weren't feeling good and you weren't eating anything because you were acting weird ever since you came back. And I love that they all noticed and they all cared and they really all wanted to be there to help him. That is absolute greatness, man. And I didn't think he was going to do it, but Shinra actually told them everything that transpired with him and Joker. And I love him for that, man. That is that is the main character greatness right there man a lot of a lot of main characters wouldn't have told it they would have held off until they had to tell it but he told them because they showed him the love and affection that he was longing for because you know he doesn't have any family but now he knows his brothers a lot see it's a lot going on man this episode didn't have any action but the information and everything that we got introduced and found out is heavy man but that's pretty much all that happened this episode there was a whole bunch of comedy that i enjoyed like with arthur um searching through the papers and shannon was like let him die and he's fainting he's almost gone why are you guys ruining it it was it was very entertaining but i enjoyed every moment man but this is your boy the incredible and fire force episode 10 done it like it wasn't any action but it was very very beautiful and very very good and the animation is always on point man but this is your boy the incredible don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life man peace out